is yours. Our lives are yours. Hallelujah. Lord, come and touch us. Father, come and heal us. We need you. This place is yours.
was taken up before their very eyes, and the cloud hit him from their sight. Mm -hmm. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same mm -hmm. way, <laughs> the same way you have seen him, seen him go into heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, every year, as I said, this is a day set aside for celebration. In Namibia, this is a public holiday. Mm -hmm. I don't know about other countries, but in this nation, this is a public holiday. Set aside to celebrate Ascension Day. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. How many of us are doing it with information? Hallelujah. How many of us really understand what is the significance of this day and why we should celebrate? And this is the day set aside on abundant living session mm -hmm. to give us information before the day, which mm. is tomorrow, to give us information about what is this day, what is the import importance of this day, mm -hmm. and why are we celebrating this day. And we want to thank God for the government of Namibia, Namibia hallelujah, hallelujah. who have given us this day as a public holiday mm. so that we can celebrate this day. Now, Apostle, as we are studying, can you please explain to us what is Ascension Day? Yeah, thank you, thank you. We also welcome women of God. Amen. I welcome everyone online. God bless you as you join in the name of Jesus. Amen. Down to your question. Let me start uh, answering this question. Yes, sir. First, by explaining the meaning of the word oh, okay. ascension. Okay. You see, the root word of ascension is ascent. Okay. The root word is ascent. Okay. And ascent means to rise up. Okay. It means to rise up or to go up. Okay. So ascension is the day in history that Jesus ascended into heaven. Mm -hmm. After he died, he rose up and he appeared to his disciples. Okay. You see, 40 days after restoration, Jesus and his disciples went to the mountain in, near Jerusalem. There, yeah. Jesus promised them, you need to wait yeah. in Jerusalem. That's I'm right. going to send the Holy Spirit, yeah. you know, uh, to you. Mm. Say, don't depart, just wait there. Mm. Then you will receive power. I believe yeah. we all remember. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, you know that. That then Jesus blessed them. And as he was blessing them, mm. and they were look, standing and looking at him, yeah. in their very eyes, it began to rise up. Mm. It was not a magic. Okay. It was not a, a concussion. Yeah. And he literally yeah. he was rising up in body form yeah. into the heaven. And he went in into the cloud and he disappeared for them. Then two men came, I believe they were angels, and said, Men of Jerusalem, yeah. this man you see ascended, yes. we surely descend. In the same in way. The same so way. Ascension Day is the day we remember that event, which is very significant, okay. that Jesus went up in the bodily form. Remember, yeah. when he came, yeah. he came in bodily form. Hmm. When he was born, he was born in bodily That's form. Right. So right. when he finished the assignment, yeah. he has to go back in body oh, in form to complete you know, the, the, the cycle of what it came to do. Hallelujah. So that is what the ascension day means. Hallelujah. So it's a day of celebrating the, 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 the day that Jesus was taken up into, into heaven, heaven. In bodily form. In yeah. bodily form. Mm -hmm. Now, Apostle, having, having said that, I want to know what, what is so important about this day? What, mm -hmm. is, what is the importance of, of, of ascension day? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, if, if, or, or, or the significance if somebody, are, okay, so so Jesus ascended, mm. uh, he ascended in a, in a bodily form. Mm. So, what is the importance, the importance. Of, of, of this day? Yeah, when you go in history, there are so many history, uh, but I will just explain in, in the uh, given example that we can understand to understand what uh, is going on here and the significance. Okay, sir, you see, there are. Imagine a, a, a small country mm. that is being tormented by, by um, 
uh, different forces. Okay. Now there was a time in uh, in some West African country, mm -hmm. the, the there were uh, people who rose up and they were terrorizing the the people, mm -hmm. and the people were powerless. Mm -hmm. See, the people were powerless to to fight these insurgents, mm -hmm. these these military guys who were coming terrorizing them and doing everything. So they cried out to the United Nations. Okay. They cried out to the the the. the they are brothers in Africa mm. countries. And I remember there was a time a troop was sent called the Ekumo okay. troop. You will also see, like in the in Israel fighting the Iraq in the Gaza, yeah. the United Americans we sent a troop yeah. to, to that region yeah. to go and help them deal with the forces they cannot fight mm. with them. Now, when these forces are coming, these troops were coming. Mm -hmm. You will hear the information will say the one who is greater, who has power, is coming to come and deal with those who are terrorizing yes. you. Then the people will be very excited. Yeah. Now you will see them when these people now announce the day they are coming, when they are coming with the armor tank and everything, the villagers will be clapping, they will rejoice yeah. because. The people who are coming to crush their yes. oppressors are coming. Then after some time, they will fight. After they fight and they deliver them from their uh, oppressors. oppressors, those people don't stay there. Okay. Those oh, yeah. American soldiers, yeah. those Ekuman soldiers, they That's will right. not stay there. That's after right. the assignment, they will be called home. That's right. Now, when they are going, they will tell, they will now go to the government. We have finished our assignment. assignment. We have gotten back the government seat. We have yeah. given it back to you. Continue to enjoy the peace, the peace that you have. Beautiful. And that day, the people will clap. Sometimes it will be the king or the leader. We now celebrate. Yeah. And every year, the country or the king they will say, this is the day that the people left and they gave us back the peace we have. Sure. That was the same thing that happened to us mm -hmm. as children of God. People were crying. The enemy was oppressing. Yeah. The devil was having fear there, and people were asking God, when are you going to send? And the Lord promised, I'm going to send you a savior. Yeah. It will be called Emmanuel. Yeah. He's coming to deliver the people. Yeah. And when this child was born, mm -hmm. heaven and earth, no, stars came, and we knew a yeah. child is born yeah. to come and save us. Now, this child came, he did everything and he finished his assignment. That's right. You see, the assignment was finished on the cross. Yeah. However, the body which Jesus used, mm -hmm. remember when he came on earth, he was 100% man mm -hmm. and 100% God. Yeah. Now, the body that he used mm -hmm. cannot just be discarded there. So when he came, <laughs> he now needs to tell them to for everybody to know I've finished the assignment. Yeah. You see, when 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 you do uh, the if I can borrow in project management, yeah. When you institute the project, you do everything after the completion of the project. Yeah. To do certain evaluation and to hand over the head of our and those who right. the project and every right. need to be taken away. That's right. The truck will be taken That's away. Right. The, the, the machinery will be taken away. And so this body that was used to house the spirit needs to be taken mm. away. So Jesus needs to come. So having said that, the significance or the importance is that it signaled the end of Jesus' earthly ministry. Yeah. Project the, the, the project is completed, <laughs> and the machinery that yeah, was used need to be taken away. Yes, because you don't construct a road oh, and leave the caterpillar on the road. On the road. You have to take everything you have to sweep everything. So Jesus went. So he, he, he concludes because God has sent him. He mm. has finished the assignment, and this period he, he, he concluded. And what happened is that. The limitation of man on earth yeah. came to an end. Yeah. Because man now, after he has gone, mm. receiving the Holy Spirit can now operate mm. fully in power. The second thing is that he signified that he was successful. Mm. That's the importance of, the, this of, of this day. It signifies that the assignment that Jesus came to do yeah. was successful. You see, if 
Jesus has died on the cross. Yeah. Really, if he did not rise up, many today will be saying, no, he died and there is something like that. Yeah. Now he rose up. Some are still, still uh, contemplating. So today they might say, ah, he is still somewhere there, just yeah. disappeared and died. So in the presence of everyone, he has to rise up. And that was a seal to tell people that his earthly work was completed. completed and successful. And it also tell us that he went back into glory. Yeah. He went back into glory to go and take his rightful place at the right side of God. Mm -hmm. And Jesus' ascension also proved to us and mm. signified the exaltation of Jesus by his father. Mm. You see, if you read in Ephesians chapter 1 from uh, 20 to 23, he said there Paul was talking about the first time that I hope that you I pray that your eyes of understanding may be open. Yes. And he started to talk about the power mm. that was in us. And he said, This power that God use it to walk through Jesus. Mm. He said, he started this power in him and he made him to sit at his right hand yeah. and he made him to be far above principality, mm. above power, above might, above dominion, mm. you know? So it, 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 it talks about the exaltation of Jesus by his father mm. He's being seated at the right hand of God. So these are the significance of, of this, day. this day. So it's a very powerful day, as powerful as the birth of Christ is, yeah. as powerful as the death and restoration is. Yes. So it's also powerful. So those days must be held in high esteem. Mm. The same energy we put in uh, the, the birth of Christ, mm. Christmas, the, the, the Good Friday, the, the death of Christ, the Easter Sunday, yeah. restaurant, the same energy needs to be put there. And I believe that's why the, the authorities made it exactly. public, public holiday. holiday. Yeah. Because it is because important. it is very, very important. Hallelujah. I, I hope that somebody online is really learning, you know, and somebody online is being enlightened. I want to welcome those of you who are already online. This is this is powerful. I don't I don't know about you, but and, and if you agree with me, I just want you to type there powerful or enlightening. Or, or it's a light bulb moment, whatever it is for you, I want you to type something about the explanation of the importance and the significance of this day. I don't know if this is my uh, we, we We just take this day, okay, it's, 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 it's uh, Ascension Day, but today, if this moment, if this explanation did something to you, I want you to type something and, and let us hear what you are saying. I want to welcome... Um, those of you who are already online, I want to welcome uh, uh, Precious Rose. God bless you. Mm. Thank you for coming online. Hallelujah. We appreciate you. We want to welcome Madame Neombo. Thank you so much for coming online. God bless you. Hallelujah. We also want to welcome Princess Albertine. Thank you so much, sweetheart, for coming online. God bless you. Hallelujah. I also want to welcome Madame uh, Julius. God bless you. Thank you for, for coming online. Hallelujah. Anna Jonas, Madam Anna Jonas, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming online. God bless you. And I also want to welcome Madam Rose. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming online. I want to welcome uh, Prince uh, uh, Ezekiel. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming online. I want to welcome Madam Julia Goises. Thank you so much for coming online. God bless you. Memero, you are welcome. God bless you. Thank you for coming online. I also want to welcome uh, Madam Mangeti Kuyos. Thank you so much for coming online. And I want you to invite someone. This is powerful information that we all need. If you can, just go ahead and share and welcome somebody who needs to be online. I want us when we go into tomorrow, which is Ascension Day, to go in with this powerful information that is coming out today. Hallelujah. We were, we were told that this is the day or that signifies that the cycle, that the project of Jesus was completed. This is mind-blowing. Apostle, as we continue, now we know what is Ascension Day. Now we know what is the importance of this day? Now I want to ask, so why should we celebrate this day? Can, can you again just give us the importance? Why should every Christian now celebrate this day? 
Hallelujah. Amen. You, you, you see, then when we talk of celebration, we are not talking about eating and drinking yeah. and partying. Yes. You know, when we say celebrate, we are saying you are appreciating. Yes, God. you acknowledge. You acknowledge. That's right. You, know, you are giving thanks to God That's and right. you are joyful that something great happened Amen. concerning yes. you. Yes. So why should we celebrate these days? If you read in the book of John, chapter 14, mm. verse 1, Jesus was talking to his disciples. That's and right. that's why he was getting closer to the end of the assignment. Yes. And he was preparing them. So Jesus told them, he said, don't let your heart be troubled, yeah. guys. Don't be worried. Yes. Eh? That I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Money worry me. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I, I'm coming. He said, I am going. Yes. To my father. Yeah. He said, in my father's place, there are many mansions. I am going to prepare a place for you. That's right. Then I will come That's back. That's right. So you need to learn of Jesus. His ascension means is going to prepare my mansion. That's right. Hallelujah. Maliba, oh, yes. You see, Colossians yes. chapter 3 said, we should place our eyes and our mind on the things that yes. are above yes. and not things on earth. Yes. So it should remind you yeah. that as I'm serving God, yeah. as I'm worshiping God, yes. as I'm advancing his kingdom, yes. Jesus is busy preparing, preparing. my mansion oh, for Jesus. me. He said, and I will come back for you mm -hmm. to take you there. So if Jesus did not go back, that promise will not be fulfilled. Exactly. Your mansion will not be there. Yes. So you should celebrate. People are like, well, I've been looking at, wow, how does my mansion look, look like? like? I'm yes. going to make that oh. mansion. Maybe it's a double story. Yes. Maybe it's still, you, you want to be easy to be ascending for my sake to go out and prepare a glorious place yes. for, for me, a place that I will be for. A place that the labor of this world did not prepare. A place that the, the Chinese contractor did not prepare. A place that he himself, not even the angel, he himself yes. prepared for you. Glorious king who died for you went to prepare a place. So he ascended to what prepared. So in that you should be able to rejoice, to celebrate. If you also read in the book of Luke, chapter 24 he, uh, in 49 mm. also in the book of john 16 jesus told them i am going but i'm not going to leave you off yeah you see my going i have i have i came mm. and i destroyed the works of the enemy yeah and i gave you life in abundance yeah so that you can flourish That's so right. that you can enjoy yes. so that you can live a victorious life but i know you can't do it by yourself mm. so don't be worried I am going to send the Holy Spirit mm. for you. So if Jesus did not go, the Holy Spirit will not come. You see, he, he, he will not come. And also, we need to rejoice because we call on Jesus today. We, when we talk about the name of Jesus, we say, call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. Because there is power in the name of That's Jesus. Right. But do you know that mm. when he was on earth, yeah. he was limited? Oh, yes. When Lazarus died, I have a soul to Mary and the other sister could not call him and he appeared there. Yeah. Oh. So they have to wait for him to arrive. Yes. So after days. Well, after days, yes. when Jesus was here on earth, he was limited. Yeah. Our access, people's access was limited to him. Yeah. But now that he ascended, you have access to him 24-7. Mm. Somebody can be in Germany, you have access to yeah. him. While I'm in Namibia, I have access, access to him. So his ascension. Mm enable the accessibility mm. of everyone. to everyone. Sure. You see, it, 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 it made it possible mm. and made life easy. Mm. That's why the Bible says, when, if you are tormented, if anyone mm. call on the name of Jesus, mm. you will be saved. That's right. Meaning yeah. anyone in any location, in us. any part of the world, mm. when you call on Jesus, mm. you will be saved. Safe. You see, so it makes it easier mm. for us to have access to him mm. because he ascended mm. into heaven. So right now you can call in your room and say, Jesus, yes. and God, the power will manifest. manifest. Which was not possible when he was still 
here. So there are so many benefits there mm. that are there for Jesus to ascend. Mm. And that is why we should celebrate. Mm. That's why you should. You, you, and it, it, not only that you should wait till this day. Every day you should remember this day. But when a day like this comes, it, it, it should remind you more mm. that you celebrate for that. Oh, Lord Jesus, mm. thank you for not tabernacling with us here forever. Mm. That you ascended mm. and you are able to go. Mm. And because he is there, he was able to take his role as a mediator, oh. as an intercessor. Oh, yeah. Because the Bible says, oh, yeah. we say, my little children, yeah. does anyone see, say anybody see? We have an advocate yes. in heaven who is interceding yes. for us. You see, if he did not go, he will not be interceding for us in heaven, but he was able to take that position to intercede for us, mm. to, add, uh, uh, to, 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 to advocate for mm. us when we run into, into trouble. These are some of the reasons why we need, we need to, to celebrate, celebrate Ascension Day. I, I, this, this, is, this, is, this is powerful, Apostle. I, 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 I just hope those of you online, you are you are being blessed as I am, as I'm being blessed. And, and honestly, uh, we will celebrate this day differently mm. tomorrow. I think most of us will celebrate, those of us who are online and those of us who will still come and watch this, this broadcast, we will celebrate Ascension Day I differently yes. because we are now armed with the information that mm. we need to know what this day is all no, about. about and not to take it just as a public holiday that we are lying at home, we are washing clothes, we are cleaning the, the, the houses and we, we, we just uh, uh, take a day off, you mm. know, like a day off. But this is, this is an important day, you know, mm. with the information that is coming out. We are being, uh, we, we are almost wrapping off tonight because tomorrow is Ascension Day and we are preparing to have a, a great celebration Hallelujah. today for Ascension Day. I was an S3 around him, but I want to ask, as we celebrate the day tomorrow, is there perhaps a message that you have for the children of God, those of us who are online tonight and those who will still come online, what is the message that you would like to give to the children of God for the day of tomorrow, which is the Ascension Day, sir? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hmm. As we've said, Ascension Day is one of the powerful oh, yes. days oh, yes. in, the, in the calendar. Oh, yes. It's a beautiful day. Hmm. It's a day that, that uh, signifies the completion of Jesus' earthly. Uh, mission mm. and it also signifies his enthronement mm. of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes. Now that Jesus has done this and we are celebrating, the message I want to pass across to us is that yes. you should remember that Jesus is reigning. Mm. He has ascended and is reigning in heaven mm. and his reign is still the end. He does not come to an end. Mm. You know, he's active and he's still engaged in our lives. Mm. He's engaged in the things that we do. So our heart must be connected to him mm. and we must make sure we do everything that honors him mm. as we know he's preparing a place for us in heaven. Mm. Therefore, knowing that Jesus is seated in heaven and is the king of kings and the lord of lords. You are a king, he's your king. That's right. And he has given you the power. That's you right. need to live boldly. Mm -hmm. You need to live confidently. You need to live strategically as servant of the exalted king. Mm -hmm. And you need to know that your labor is not in, not vain. in vain. And you must continually at remember, all. my yes. heart, my eyes must be on the things above. Mm -hmm. And one of the things above is that there is a mansion mm -hmm. prepared for you. Mm. And if you are going through challenges, I want you to know that Jesus also suffered challenges. He struggles, he, 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 he suffers, he went through troubles, struggles, but he endured. And he endured for you because he has taken off our infirmity. He has taken off the pain so that you can have. So whatever you are going through, just know that Jesus is exalted. Amen. Jesus is enthroned in heaven. Amen. And victory is there for you. Amen. And there is power in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, you in all other religions, those who live, let them, they die, they never rose up. That's right. But Jesus rose up. Mm. Not only did he rise up, uh, he ascended. He ascended. In Israel, there were some who tried to concord that they, they rose up. Yes. But Jesus has smudged them. He did not just rise up. He, he ascended 
into heaven. And you need to take hope in the glorious hope that you have. Jesus is our hope. And you need to have that hope that is coming back for you yes. one day. So continue serving him. Mm. Continue praising him. Mm. Continue worshiping him. Mm. Continue advancing his kingdom. And when he comes, my prayer for you is yes. that he will say, welcome my wonderful servant to the place I have prepared. We want to give God all the glory for, for this powerful information that was given to us. Hallelujah. What a powerful revelation of Ascension Day. I, I believe there is someone online who is understanding this day afresh. Hallelujah. If, if you understand it afresh, can you just type afresh? Let me know who I'm talking to. If you understand this day afresh, this is a fresh information. Can you just type fresh or afresh? Can you just type it there tonight that you are understanding this day afresh and this is fresh information that the Lord has given to us. We have come to the end of, of, of this, this, this session, hallelujah. And I believe that you have been blessed. Maybe you are online and you say, my goodness, I did not understand. I did not have this information. I did not even know about this Jesus, the way that he's been explained, and you want to surrender your life to the Lord. Hallelujah. You want to make right with the Lord. I will just allow Apostle just to minister to us. You know that the enemy will not snatch this information away from us. Those of us who are already born again. Someone to accept him as Lord and Savior and just minister apostle as the Spirit of the Lord is leading. And after that, I will come and give some announcements. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus. Perhaps you are online yes. and say, I don't know him, mm. but I want to invite him into my heart. Yes. I want to surrender my life to him. Understanding that he came for you. This is your moment. I just want you wherever you are in any part of the world. Jesus is there, he can hear you. I want you to say this prayer after me and say, Jesus, save me. Save me. Jesus, I surrender. I surrender myself, my life to you. Myself and my life. Come into my heart. Come into my heart and take possession. Save me, Jesus. Save me. Jesus. Wash me clean with your blood. Wash me clean with and from today, and from today, I belong to you. I belong. To you. I will serve you. I will serve you all the days of my all the days of in my the life. name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray Amen. for everyone who have prayed this prayer. You say, if anyone confess that Jesus is Lord yes. and they believe in their heart that He died for them, they shall be saved. Yes. Today, they call upon you and say, Jesus, save them. Yes. Today, save them from sin. Amen. Save them from the cobweb of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. I pray for total deliverance yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, and for as many that have listened to this message yes. and say, Lord, thank you for this revelation. Yes. I pray that you will empower them yes. to walk in your way. Yes. I pray that you will empower them yes. to honor you in their work with you. Yes. I pray that they will not miss heaven at last. Yes. That as you are preparing and their mansion for them, the enemy will not make them turn back from this road yes. of salvation. Yes. That your light will continue to shine yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. And Lord, we pray for this nation, Namibia, mm. because the government honor this day, yes. because of this singular heart, have mercy on Namibia. Amen. Have mercy on this nation. Amen. And I pray that you will turn the story of this nation around for good yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, and we declare Jesus be entrust, entrusted yes. over this nation, Namibia. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you so much once again for joining us. Hallelujah, Princess Sharon. Thank you for coming online. Hallelujah. Thank you, everyone, for coming online. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. And tomorrow, I want to invite you, armed and empowered with this information. We have the Ascension Day service also just on Facebook tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning. Please invite the 
shared on your status on your on your timeline invite someone and share this information as well so that we can come together tomorrow online and celebrate this day hallelujah. hallelujah from the comfort of your home we are inviting you to join us 11 o'clock mm. on the same platform we will have the Ascension Day celebration and service. So I invite you. This is your personal invitation. Amen. I invite you. And I'm asking you, invite someone. Please, the post is already on Abundant Life Ministry uh, Facebook page. If you can, just share the poster and invite someone for tomorrow's service. Hallelujah. So see you tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock for the service. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.